Then you got the expenses and vendors. So when you're talking about expenses, you're expanding on more information, we would think from the income statement, the profit and loss on the expense side of things. Note on the income statement, the expenses are, are by category, what we paid for, what we bought. So we don't have the expenses by vendor who we bought from on the income statement. We don't typically put an expense saying, this is Verizon. No, we say telephone bill. And then, so if we wanna break out that more information, we might have reports that can break it out by vendor. So we got the check detail. Now notice the check detail has given us more information that is similar to what we might find and be able to construct on the balance sheet by going into the checking account and sorting for the decreases, which would be customize. We can go filters and we can say transactions. And I wanna look at the decreases, which would be uh, the payments, the checks, the, and the, there's kind of a lot of them because we have these different things that could be a decrease. So it gets a little bit to possibly a transfer. I'm looking major uh, principally for the expense form and I run that. And so now we've got our decrease. So you can kind of construct that detail from the checking account. Anytime you're looking at a report that's having in essence, some kind of increase or decrease to the checking account, you can sort and filter to the actual checking account. And then I can go over here and then we've got the expense by vendor. So now we've got the expenses now by vendor. So breaking out that information instead of just by account, you got the open purchase orders. Now these are not Purchase orders, you'll recall, aren't actually forms that affect the financial statements. They are simply a request for inventory, but we would like to track those open purchase orders. Oftentimes you might not do that in a report, although it might be useful for external reporting purposes or to report to a supervisor. You would be going internal here, going to uh, the, the vendor area, which is here, and then possibly going to the expenses and sorting filtering by uh, the purchase orders possibly is one way that you can do that and see whether they're open or closed and and so on. So so there's those we've got the purchased by product service detail. So if you purchased like inventory, then you've got the items that you that you purchased. So now you can run your purchases by the inventory items. If you don't have inventory, then that might not be as useful a report purchased by vendor detail. So now we're making our purchases again by who we purchased from, but giving more detail. Transaction list by vendor. So now you've got your transactions by who we paid, and then you got your vendor contact list.